Hi everyone, it's Tara here from Beyond This Reality. And today I wanted to come and discuss some of the things that I've been finding with my own clients. And then also just random people who are sharing their experiences at the moment. So we're in the middle of this pandemic, this time of quarantine, this unprecedented time, and it is affecting people differently. And it is affecting those who know or don't even know how empathic they truly are in different ways. So the one that I wanna talk about today is super sensitivity in the body in regards to how the body is either digesting or not dis digesting food, desiring, not desiring food, or even the way that it is experiencing what foods are put into our bodies. Many things are being amplified. So first of all, don't take it from me. Ask yourself, am I highly aware, super sensitive, or empathic? It's a really great question to have your child ask themselves as well. Not from a knowledge standpoint, like trying to figure out, do they fit the criteria? But just from a universal understanding, like, are they? And then move to the space of acknowledging I am, and it goes beyond comprehension. The things that I receive are beyond what I can understand. Actually going into those two places, rather than labeling someone else or being labeled by someone else, actually asking yourself is freeing. And then actually taking the time to acknowledge the fact that you're receiving things that are beyond your comprehension to levels that are beyond your comprehension is also freeing. And it isn't actually in doing those two acts that can begin to relieve some of the intensity that you're receiving. Because sometimes the intensity is actually showing up just so that you acknowledge how powerful of a receiver that you truly are, right? Sometimes it's just that, like you are being asked to acknowledge how powerful of a receiver that you truly are. Like you're receiving all these awarenesses, some of which that you don't know how, what to do with, other than to acknowledge. And you may not be, be asked to do anything other than acknowledge that. The next thing is how much is your body showing up from an old pattern of ways that may not be serving you anymore. And so this is a piece where it's really important to put your hands on your body and to acknowledge your body for how powerful and kind and generous it's been in showing up to heal others. And this, is, this next question is for you to ask yourself of what, what awareness that you're getting. The awareness that I've been getting for a few years now is that we've moved into new times. And they are unprecedented for a different reason. We're being moved into times where we're not here to show up to heal others. We're here to show up as an invitation for others to rise into their own healing powers, no matter what stage they are. That doesn't mean that you aren't, if you're already in the healing arts, that you're not a vessel for that invitation, which is really powerful. And it's so much more powerful than being healed by another. Okay, I don't want to split hairs with anyone on like, we never have actually healed anyone else. I, I'm not going to split hairs on that, like whatever your knowledge or um, belief pattern is on that. It's being brought to even more of a higher level, a higher level of invitation. That's where what I am, I am experiencing in myself, also with the clients that I work with. And then the, the community at large is being invited by the universe to know what else is possible through them for their life and for the deepest desires that they have inside. So whether you're feeling canker sores, abscesses, burning in your mouth, the inability to eat, the inability to digest, um, tummy rumbles, toxic stomach, crazy amounts of noise in your head. Are you willing to just acknowledge for yourself or for the, the person that you love that 
you are receiving tons of energy that your body is digesting and processing. And then are you willing to ask your body if it would like more ease? If your body would actually like to let it pass through without processing? If there's any invitation that you're being given as to a way to step up into a more seen role and assist others in this invitation? or whether you would just like it to pass through. You know, you might have a 12-year-old, a 14-year-old, a 16-year-old who is receiving all of this, and they may want more ease, and yet they may be being invited to know how aware they are. And they may be being asked to step into their gifts and to start um, cultivating them in different ways, allowing them to ask that of themselves and whether they're ready for that. But in the meantime, you can ask, what else is possible? With what I'm sensing inside my body and could it move through with me with more ease and grace? And could I be the energy of contribution for all required, including myself, so that more ease would come for others? And the other side of this is, is it required for others to sense the suffering in order to choose greater for themselves? to experience suffering. I don't know about you, but I've had those invitations in my life before where I dragged my feet on choices that the universe brought to me and it took absolute suffering for me to finally let go and embrace what the, the universe was bringing to me that was greater than I could ever imagine, but I was holding on so tightly to what was because it was secure or so I thought. It was predictable, or so I thought. It was soft, or so I thought. And yet what I finally let go of in order to embrace what the universe had for me paled in comparison to what the life and the softness and the grace and the expansiveness and the security I now have. But I had to be taken out kicking and screaming and suffering. So I'm grateful I'm grateful for the suffering that I endured in order to have what I had now. And now I also know that if I ask for the grace at which to let go so that I can have what the universe has for me, it takes away some of the suffering. However, however, in my past, that was required. And so are you willing to let go of stopping whatever is required for people to actually have the life that they truly desire. If it is required that there's some hardship and suffering, are you willing to stop getting in the way of whatever is required for them to have the most expansive, fulfilling, amazing life possible? Right? I know that's a lot to handle, but sometimes the pain that we're feeling inside is anger, rage, and sadness that somebody else is having to endure what they're having to endure that is part of the process of them having a greater life. So many of these things that I'm feeling, especially in the mouth area, is like little pockets of anger and rage. First of all, I would ask you to even put your hands on there and ask the question, is this mine or am I sensing anger and rage in someone else and processing it for them? that if they were able to process it for themselves, they would actually be catapulted into a new, a new space of an existence that would be more kind to them. So am I willing to allow them to go through their own process without me getting in the way, right? If it is mine, universe, will you show me the way into more grace and ease um, and allow this to pass through as quickly as possible and for me to take the invitation and let go of what, what once was, right? If it's digestion, are you willing to just honor the fact that maybe it is hard right now with the amount of energetic energy that's coming through you for you to digest food? And so what foods would be kinder for you? And so I just wanna give you um, anything with a seed inside is super easy for the body to digest. So anything from avocados to um, apples and most fruits, right, are super easy for the body to digest. So they're really an easy form at this moment if you're struggling with that. And then anything that's liquidized, 
right? So just honoring and not making yourself wrong for whatever you're choosing that's a kindness to you right now. Removing those rights and wrongs, those goods and bads, and those shoulds and shouldn'ts in order to just honor what you require at the moment that is a kindness for you. Even if it means like, you know, I just got a message myself that um, somebody wanted me to get on a Zoom and I said, it's a kindness for me at the moment to, to just be in the quiet of my own space. And so thank you so much for offering this group uh, experience. But for right now, it's a no. That doesn't mean the next time that you're doing, it's not going to be a yes. Just honoring your yeses, honoring your noes, and what you need in this time. Again, one of the greatest questions to have is body. What ease do you need in order to process this with speed, right? What, what do you need? Universe, show me. The universe show me like so we don't have to try like show me how I can bring, be grace to myself I will continue to bring more of these these videos sorry I'm stumbling with my words at the moment I'll continue to bring videos to you that are expansive um, I receive a lot of intuitive information from people's bodies as well as the universe at large um, on an expansive level and then also I will continue to bring different little aspects of the intuitive body process that is incredibly powerful to moving things on the unconscious and subconscious level that um, will aid in bringing grace and peace and expansiveness to you. So continue to share what's going on in your bodies, how highly aware you are, and then let's work together as a group to play with some of these tools in order to move to a space of community um, expansiveness and acknowledgement for the capacities that we have and the ways that we can move them into more ease rather than being at the mercy of them as well for ourselves as well as for the children of this world who um, need a little bit of invitation and into their gifts so blessings to you and I will talk to you soon bye